Hello Flutterflow users. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to show very quick uh, usage of local state. So what I'm going to show, so and if you go to the already the work which I have done um, app, if you go here, you can see that uh, if you click on increment example, I can see that I got a text where um, it has been mapped to integer data type and I have a floating button. Click on this, you can see that as and when I'm clicking on, the number is increasing it. So this can be used, this can be achieved using local state feature in Flutterflow. Yeah, so how we can do that, I'm going to show that now. Right, I'm going to create a new project, local state management demo. Yeah, so you can see that the project has been created here. Okay, so first thing I'm going to add app bar, add a text to app bar, basic example states, and change the color of it. So, and also you can see that I have added uh, two text into the columns. Um, in the particular page one to show you have clicked button this many times and another text to map the, um, the variable which I'm going to create shortly yeah and also search for floating button and add into that page and add icons to that and and change the color of it so yeah so you can change with a typo error uh, the ABBA text um, yeah, so go to local state. So this is where you can create uh, local state variables in Flutterflow. I click on add, enter a field. Uh, it should be integer in our case. Um, and you can see that now you've got two options here, list and persisted. So now I'm selecting persisted as nothing but if you want to carry this value, so across the different pages, you, you can um, select the option uh, persisted. Uh, if you don't select this, the value you can't really pass to the different different page using this particular field. So anyway, we can talk about this uh, in detail in different videos. Um, now create. So once creation is done, go to page. So go to the text hello world which is a second text here and um, you can see that so by clicking a set from variable for the particular test so we can map the, uh, the the state field which we have created now so go to local state in the options and select value you can see since we got only one field state field which we have created in state so you can see that there's only one value which is playing here. Select that and default value you can set to zero and save it. Um, you can see that as soon as you have configured uh, state variable details, you can see that field is mapped here. So next, so now when you click on this floating button, the idea is we should be able to increase the integer value here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, something like that. So for that, we have to add action to the button now. Um, go to icons. Yeah, and um, select properly. And so you can see that now it's been selected in our floating action button and um, go to action types update local state you have to select and value and and the third option increment decrement so in our use case in this particular video use case you should select this option also there are uh, two more options set value and clear value so these are available under 
each uh, state variables anyway we can discuss about this in detail in future videos but for now select increment and decrement option yeah so now you can good to run uh, once um, run is done you should be able to see um, you can see that now so when I click on this button so number is increasing yeah so the way it's been working as and when you're clicking on that the, the action which we have attached to this particular uh, floating button is increasing number one on top of the uh, the value we seen stored so that's all for this video okay so if you like um yeah so please please subscribe my channel and um in the comment section add your comments if you need any uh, videos on particular concept, uh, concepts in Flutterflow. Thanks for watching. Thank you.